I had one in my house, you know. I had to run, to run out and get one, man. I was living in, in D.C. at the time, and I had to go get one. And uh, that, was my, that was my bread and butter. That was my, my, my daily breakfast for years. Oh, man, I mean, who isn't playing the roads? I mean, you know, this is like everybody is playing the roads, man. I can't think of, I can't think of any, any keyboardist, really, who, who, hasn't, who hasn't touched the roads. Um, I think some, some really interesting people that you probably wouldn't know ever really touched the road. One time I was in, um, I was in Toronto and somebody had told me, you know, a friend of Oscar Peterson, uh, Peterson had said, you know, Oscar, man, you know, he has like a, he has a Fender Rose up in his house. He has a Fender Rose, he had a Fender Rose up in his house, a mini Moog, I mean, a clavinet, this cat had everything up in there, man, you know? So everybody, wanted to and the other person who who really kind of blew my mind when he started playing it and he then he started playing it out was Ahmad Jamal and a lot of people don't think about don't associate the roads with with Ahmad Jamal but Ahmad tore the Fender Rose up you know so these are some of the people that you know that you wouldn't think ordinarily of um of playing of playing the roads but you know I'll, I'll use it I think that uh, there was some great some great emulation you know programs now but nothing you know nothing as far as I've ever heard you know can beat the feel of this of the of the keyboard you know and the actual the actual cotton to the wood to the time to the metal tines you know that's it's something it kind of travels through your through the bones of your fingers and and all the way all the way through your body Boned off down near everything his old woman's wedding ring for a bottle Here goes Don't you think it's a crime 